Hi, it's Tim with iCode Epoxy, and today we're going to talk about preventing amber layers. This is segment two in our series. There's a lot of science involved in formulating and producing epoxies, but there's also science involved in selecting the right epoxy for your application and developing techniques to use it as intended to prevent issues. Today we're going to be talking about the HB casting epoxy. It's also known as CE4100. It's considered a quick cure casting epoxy, which means you can demold generally in 24 hours. Um, it, uh, it's fairly viscous so that uh, your flowers don't float around and things like that. Um, it has excellent anti-aging properties and exceptional bubble release from the time that you start mixing till 30 minutes from then. Now, preventing amber layers starts even before we mix. And what I mean by that is we're looking to have this resin in about 80 to 82 degrees. And the reason for that is it's going to mix much more quickly at that temperature and it's going to be able to release its bubbles very effectively. Now, the way that we get that to 82 degrees, the easiest way is to take both of these bottles and this is the two gallon kit and they fit nice and tight right there in a five gallon bucket so they won't move around and things like that. Um, and then we just add hot water. I've already got it in there. I've already adjusted the temperature on this. but. If you have the one gallon kit, they fit nice and tight inside of a two gallon bucket. Then we let that sit there for a couple of minutes and we take our infrared temperature gun, which is one of the most important tools that you could possibly have for doing these type of projects. <clears throat> and then we just pull the tops off the bottles, check the temperature. And again, we're looking somewhere between 80 and 82 degrees and we're right there. So put the lids back on, pull them out. We want to dry them off before we mix because we don't want any water getting into our mixing container. Get those nice and dry. Now you can take those in and out of the bucket of water as many times as you need to. We want to make sure that we mix the correct amount that we'll be able to use in the first five or ten minutes. Uh, today we're going to mix 84 ounces. Uh, I'm going to use a drill in this cup with 60 ounces. I'm going to mix 24 ounces in this cup with a spoon. Um, we're going to talk about maximum thickness in a follow-up video, but I already have the pre-marked on this cup. If we mix too long, we're going to shorten the time of effective bubble release in the mold and the epoxy is going to increase in temperature the longer it's in mass. So say if I mix this cup and this cup full of epoxy and I took this one and poured it in the mold right away and I left this one sit in the cup for five or 10 minutes, it's going to increase in temperature and then when I put it in the mold, it's going to be much hotter at the spike, which is the highest temperature the resin is going to reach all on its own. So at that point, which is about an hour and a half from the time you start mixing, the one that we've left in mass is going to reach a much higher temperature than the one that we put in the mold right away. And epoxy and heat do not go together. We want to avoid as much heat as possible because that's what leads to amber layers. Now, I'm going to take this. This is my A. Doesn't really make a difference which one you mix first, but I'm going to put 30 ounces of A in this cup. And in this one, I'm going to put 12 because we're mixing a total of 24 ounces. So we're adding 30 ounces of each in this cup and we're going to be adding 12 ounces of each in, in that cup there. Okay. Now when mixing with the drill, we're going to start mixing until it goes clear, which won't take very long. sides and I'm going to run it around the bottom and then I'm going to mix it all again. I'm going to make sure to get the sides all the way down. So that's mixed. Now we're not worried about any bubbles 
bubbles that are in here right now because the resin's gonna do the work for you because we're gonna get in there quickly. They'll all rise to the surface where we can deal with them. This one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna mix it until it starts to go clear, which again, isn't gonna take very long. Mix it backwards. I'm going to take, I like to use a spoon because I can take this edge and just scrape all the edges like this and it's going to remove any loose bits. If you mix this too slowly, you're going to end up with, it doesn't have enough action to get this stuff off the edges very good and you're going to end up with little striations that, uh, that keep, look like they keep coming back but it's just because we didn't get them off the edge and the bottom. So I'm going to pay attention to the bottom, I'm going to scrape the edges and I'm gonna stir it again real quick. Now that's completely mixed. And as you can see, it didn't take very long to do that. Again, we wanna mix quickly, we wanna do it at the appropriate temperature, and we wanna get it in the mold as quick as we can to avoid it sitting in mass. Because again, mass creates heat, and heat creates amber layers, and we wanna avoid that at all costs.